Hi everybody, welcome to another Bug of the Week episode. Today I want to showcase an older bug that we also recently ran into on our Cycraft Survival server that affects witch farms. So here in the back you can see a bit of an unusual witch hut. The poles are a lot longer than usual because the yeah, witch hut generated a bit higher. So the floor level is at Y71. It's a bit unusual, usually the floor level of every witch hut is supposed to be at Y65. You can also see the lines here on the outside, which indicate the bounding boxes of the witch farm. Usually the bounding boxes should overlap, like it does with this normally generated bounding box. And yeah, the problem is if you have a witch hut that is elevated because of some terrain generation around it, then your witch farm won't work. So if you would try to build a witch farm around this one, then you could only get witch farms at the lowest level. But for example here at Y71, uh, normal mobs would spawn. So not witches exclusively. So I quickly made a witch spawning platform. Yeah, and as you can see, at the lower bounding box, we get the normal mob spawns. Then we could get this just one layer where witches spawn like normally. And also on top, we also get the normal overworld mob spawning. The reason why this is happening is that we have the two bounding boxes, the inner and outer bounding box, which in case of the witch farm have the same size. So before the terrain is generated, the game assigns locations for temples, so the witch farm is also a temple, like a jungle temple or a pyramid. And then yeah, later the other bounding boxes then determine um, according to the actual location of the witch hut. Basically, the game fails to compare the two bounding boxes afterwards. That's why we have this uh, failed bounding box creation. So the way you could fix this manually is using NBT Explorer. So I have to find your world file, then go to data, then next temple.dat, data features, and then uh, this is the position of the witch hut. So the effective one is this one here. Then you have to check in the subfolder children and there's bounding box six integers. And here you can see the Y value is at the wrong height. So you could adjust this manually. So you could compare it to the other bounding box, which is this one here. So it has 64 and 70 here. And if you would change this, and replace the file and restart your game, then the bounding box is the correct position. Okay, don't forget to save. The beginning of the video was filmed in Minecraft 1.12 using carpet mod in order to show the outline of the bounding box in game. But I also checked this bug is still in the game in Minecraft 1.13. Another interesting story on the side. If this bug with the different bounding boxes wouldn't have been in a game and the bounding box would have been adjusted to the actual generation of the witch hut, then we could have made faster witch farms in Minecraft 1.12. You could have removed all the blocks in the chunk before the chunk gets populated, some flying machines, and then force the witch hut to generate in the lowest subchunk. And the other way the spawning algorithm works, we would have had a witch farm in subchunk 1, which would have been 5 times faster than a witch hut in subchunk 5. But unfortunately, the, that bug uh, made this not feasible, and in higher versions, uh, we also couldn't do the, yeah, the manipulation of the witch hut uh, population anymore. So this will probably never be a thing. But there were some people looking into this and getting this to work, but unfortunately the bug always prevented that possibility. It would have been a really nice challenge. Anyway, it would still be nice if this uh, bug with the bounding boxes would get fixed at some point. Thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next one. Bye bye.